what's up YouTube back here with another video for you guys a um, lot of concern in cold weather about range and battery usage so it's been pretty cold here we're sitting at about 9 with a wind chill feeling like negative 15 um, so it's real cold here right now you can see we're at 90% of the state of charge uh, and we're at uh, 121 estimated miles so if I were just to hop in and drive at this point your efficiencies on this screen would be pretty low uh, for um, the beginning part of that ride you'd probably be down in the mid ones um, because as you drive off the battery needs to warm itself up so that's where preconditioning um, becomes a very important feature to use what you do is you go into the car setting you go into your settings you go into charge and in this um, departure and comfort this is where you would uh, set your daily schedule I don't have a daily schedule that uh, would really work here so I don't use this but whenever I know that I am planning to go out around a certain time of day I will um, build a departure time in at on the app level but if you do this in the car you pick your day so say Monday at this time you you want the temperature to be medium that's when you leave for work and then say you also want to warm it up when you leave your office whatever the example to be go ahead and clear that clear that one as well clear this one as well so you can go through you can do this in the app uh, I will do a screen record and add that as well but this range meter over here is taking into account that the battery is cold so if you were just to drive away it's guesstimating that you could go 121 miles so I'm gonna go ahead and set a departure for later this evening and see what impact it has on the 90% and the 121 miles So still a couple hours away from when the scheduled charge is going to kick on. You can see that 90% has now dropped down to an estimate of 115. Alright, so it's about 10 p.m. Just uh, about a minute after. Uh, you can see the green light flashing in the background. That's my EVSE. Uh, indication that the car is um, pulling electricity you can see here it's flashing you may be able to hear things are working in there that is the preconditioning starting
Okay, so it's exactly 11 o'clock. Just got the notification on my phone that the car has reached its in-cabin temperature. So I'm going to disconnect the power cord as if we were taking it for a drive. I'll just leave that right here for now. Getting into the cabin. You can see it's 11.01. Still reading 8 degrees outside. Uh, according to Google, it's giving me approximately two. Obviously, with wind chill, it's feeling like much less than that. Uh, you can see it did maintain itself at 90% state of charge, but now that range estimate has climbed back up to 127 now. Uh, and if I were to go for an actual drive of substantial distance, uh, I would probably average somewhere in the 2.5, 2.8 range. Uh, whereas if I had just gone cold, I would have been more in the 1.9 miles, 1.8, something like that would have been... Um, pretty standard, pretty typical um, for driving the vehicle without uh, preconditioning. So it's, it, it is important to precondition uh, any opportunity you have. Um, that's going to that's gonna give you uh, the best efficiency, hence the longest range because it's, it, it's warming up the battery, it's warming up the cavern. Um, and as you saw, this started its precondition um, process about an hour before the scheduled departure time. That's twice as long as you would be able to run a remote start for. So the remote start defaults at 15 minutes and you can do one extend uh, and you can only do it twice uh, before driving the car and kind of resetting that clock so you can only run it um, for a half hour to get the uh, vehicle warmed up but the precondition uh, definitely preconditions the battery pack where the remote start well it does some of that because it's sending electricity to the heater and the batteries are starting to warm up uh, this this is the ideal solution uh, if you live on a schedule it's super easy set that schedule in the menu set it and forget it you're good to go